The built-in iPhone camera app has grown over the years to include a whole bunch of different photo and video modes, but sometimes you just want or need more control over the settings. This very free and very full featured Blackmagic camera app for iPhone is just awesome with all of the controls and options that you would want for video. And if you want to record log video on iPhone 15 Pro, then you should absolutely be using the Blackmagic camera app. Why you ask? Because Blackmagic actually allows you to shoot Apple log differently than you can with the built-in camera app. See, Apple started allowing ProRes video capture starting with the iPhone 13 Pro. And with the iPhone 15 Pro, you can now do ProRes log video, which is a big deal for anyone who wants to get the most out of their iPhone video. This video is not going to go in depth about what ProRes and log are, but here's a quick refresher for anyone who just doesn't remember or doesn't know. ProRes is a format to capture video that is super easy for computers to edit in a video editor. When the video is compressed with something like H.264, the video editor needs to decode that as it reads it, which can be difficult to do both at the same time for underpowered computers. ProRes videos, on the other hand, are much easier for the computer to read, but the downside is very large files. Now, Log is essentially a color profile that can capture wide color and brightness ranges that allow someone to adjust the color easier in an editor compared to video that just comes right out of most cameras by default. The iPhone 15 Pro can use ProRes and Log together to create amazing video files that allow editors to easily adjust and get all the range that they want out of the colors and the files. Enabling ProRes Log on the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max is easy by going into Settings and Camera and then tap on Formats. And then all the way down at the bottom, you can enable ProRes and ProRes encoding for Log. So now when you go into the camera settings and go to Video, up at the top, you'll see an option for ProRes Log so you can turn it on and off. And then you can adjust the frame rate and the resolution as well up at the top. And now you can get even better video out of your camera for easier editing and a much higher tolerance for stretching the colors and the brightness or bringing up the shadows or whatever you need to do to make that footage look great. But look at some of these file sizes. For a 17 second video at 24 frames per second, it takes up 1.42 gigabytes of storage. And for a 24 second video, it is more than two gigabytes. So each minute of 4K24 footage is about five or six gigabytes using Apple's ProRes Log. With the Blackmagic Camera app, you can record in Apple Log ProRes just like you can with Apple's built-in iPhone. But you can instead use HEVC or H.265 instead and get much more manageable file sizes and retain great picture quality. HEVC is another video codec which is compressed like H.264, but it's much newer and more efficient. HEVC can match picture quality of H.264 at about half of the storage space. And I know I mentioned that these compressed codecs are difficult for some computers to handle, but many computers, including Apple's M series computers, have hardware decoding built in, which lets the computer edit these highly compressed files very easy. Easily, very easily. And log is more important for most people than the codec because we want to be able to fix and grade the colors to our liking. Okay, mine isn't that great, but I'm trying. And because the quality is still very good with HEVC on an iPhone, recording in log color space in the Blackmagic app gets you the video quality that is almost imperceptibly different from ProRes on the iPhone at a fraction of the space. Remember that 17 second clip that was 1.42 gigabytes? Yeah, that same video shot with Blackmagic, HEVC, and log is 66 megabytes. And that 24 second video that was just over two gigabytes with ProRes log is just 97.8 megabytes on HEVC log. Now, I know that some of you are going to say that there's a big difference in picture quality between ProRes and HEVC, and professionals who shoot with iPhone would only use ProRes. But I got a couple of comments. First, if you're shooting video on your phone, most likely it's going to be for YouTube or social media, and whatever compression that platform does will negate any benefits of shooting ProRes. And second, physical limitations of the iPhone camera, like the size of the sensor and the aperture, matter way more than the codec and will have a larger effect on the picture quality you're still shooting with an iPhone. Log is the more important piece when shooting on an iPhone, and now you can get it in much smaller file sizes. So here are some examples of ProRes and HEVC shot side by side at 24 frames per second. Let me know what you think. And if you're curious, I set up both cameras the same using all the basic automatic settings for white balance and ISO and whatnot. They're both set to 24 frames per second, and I did reduce the exposure on both of them to negative one. Now, there might be some differences in focus or slight color or brightness differences based on the auto ISO and white balance settings at the moment, but the sharpness and details look the same. 
Even when I zoom in, I can't see a difference. I'm not seeing any more or less noise on one of these versus the other. Now, I do wanna talk about 60 frames per second video in just a second, but first I wanna thank CalDigit for sponsoring this video. The CalDigit Thunderbolt Station 4, or TS4, is the Thunderbolt dock I use every day. This dock has 18 ports of connectivity to help your production, including 10 gigabit USB ports for fast storage, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, fast and consistent charging, and so, so much more. But today I wanna to tell you about displays, and more specifically, that the TS4 supports high refresh rate displays. The benefit of having a higher refresh rate display is that the image will appear smoother and sharper. This can make any computing experience better, and this is especially ideal for gamers to get that smooth action gameplay. With the TS4, you get up to 144 hertz on a 4K resolution display, and with a 2K resolution display, you can get up to 240 hertz. As long as the computer, GPU, cable, display, and adapters support high refresh rates. If you're using a DisplayPort cable, make sure to use DisplayPort 1.4. And if you're using an HDMI cable, make sure it's HDMI 2.1. And if you're connecting a display via Thunderbolt, the Thunderbolt connection will support higher refresh rates. So if you wanna use a high refresh rate display with a Thunderbolt dock, check out the CalDigit TS4 today using the links below. And my thanks to CalDigit for sponsoring this video. Now, one other benefit I wanna point out when using the Blackmagic camera app is that you can shoot 60 frames per second log without needing to use external storage. If you wanna use ProRes Log with 60 frames per second on the iPhone 15 Pro, you have to use an external SSD. If you try and change the frame rate from 4K24 to 4K60, you're going to get an alert that it's not supported and you need to record to external storage. Now it can be a pain in the butt to have to remember to drag these around with you all the time or figure out a way to strap this to your iPhone or your rig to be able to record 4K60. And that kind of sucks. But on the other hand, if you do record to an external SSD, it's actually a lot easier to get the files off of this than it is off of this using AirDrop or whatever. With the Blackmagic app, you can go ahead and change your settings to 60 frames per second and not have to worry about needing an external SSD. That's one less thing to remember to bring with you and you get much smaller file sizes. Okay, let's compare this 22 second clip that comes out to about 4.58 gigabytes in ProRes log shooting 4K60. If we use the HEVC log on the Blackmagic app, it comes out to just 146 megabytes. See how fast that can add up? And here is a little bit of 4K60 shots that I slowed down to 24 frames per second. Let me know if you can tell the difference between them in the comments. So it doesn't make any sense to me to shoot in ProRes Log on iPhone when a perfectly acceptable, even better option exists with more controls and smaller file sizes, and it's free. But what do you guys think about this? Is ProRes or even Log important to you? And if so, which camera app are you using? Let me know down below. Now, if you love this video, I'm certain you're going to love this video right over here. It's a good one. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.